Area specialists have located that utilizing our new $10 billion toy, the departure plan, would take a very long time before it turns into a reality. On the off chance that it goes according to plan, the excursion to Proxima would require around 20 years. So, all things taken into consideration, it will likely be quite a few years before we can confirm if there is indeed life on that planet. The deep-rooted question remains, could we say we are clearly alone in this universe? The James Webb Telescope has observed some non-human-like things far from Earth, driving us closer to the Navy's response. Our quest for life beyond us has been widespread throughout every human development, to such an extent that we have a great many media writings and speculations concerning this matter. Our wonder with respect to our place and solitude in the universe has been constant, as if it is imbued within us to constantly search for a friend, irrespective of how alien-like. Indeed, we ought to truly be finding increasingly closer to the answers we care about. But might they say they are truly the answers we are searching for? Or might they say they are drastically more frightening? Come along with us as we look into the latest revelations in the realms of universes and planets on the journey to discover something we might not be ready to observe. Lights a long way off, researchers have determined what could be the most earth-shattering discovery ever. Back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was planned to launch, an extremely captivating speculative inquiry was raised about the capacities of our innovation. The inquiry was whether later on, our telescopes could recognize artificial light on another planet, such as Proxima b. Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, is in the habitable zone of our nearest neighbor, the small star Proxima Centauri, around four and a quarter light years away. Since the exoplanet is a couple of times closer to its star than Earth is from the Sun, Proxima b is expected to be tidally locked, with a permanent day side and night side like our moon. A speculative, Advanced human development on Proxima b could move heat and power from the day side to the night side using photovoltaic cells that produce electricity from starlight. In a paper with Manasvi Lingam as one of the scientists, it was shown that significant inclusion of the day side by solar panels could be detected with future telescopes. Since JWST was further developed, it might allow us to extend our quest for artificial lighting to habitable exoplanets like Proxima b. Currently, in 2024, it is possible that the James Webb Space Telescope did precisely that. Utilizing its higher sensitivity and broader range of capacities, the JWST could have found the lights we have been seeking and potentially flung U.S. into another significant phase of human advancement. Let us delve into the universe of planets and exoplanets to understand how this was even possible. James Webb's significant aim is to investigate Proxima Centauri's secrets. Over the course of time, humans have pondered the nature of the universe. What are we? Where do we come from? Where are we going? These are natural but very difficult questions man has tried to answer since he gained consciousness. Currently, in the time of dramatic technological progression, one wonders whether we are any closer to any of the above questions. If you ask a philosopher, he would most likely say we are currently at stage zero of understanding ourselves within the universe. However, Ask a space professional precisely the same thing and watch him leap around in excitement as he hurries to inform you of the most recent revelations humans have made about the universe using their smart tools. These gadgets, albeit not given a lot of attention by the general public, are directly a sign of human development itself. We presently have the world readily available, and it is time we push ahead and get the universe readily available too. One such way of doing that has been concluded by researchers and astronomers. It is through the innovation we harness. A particular creation of that said innovation is currently responsible for the new revelation of what could be lights on another planet light years away. Indeed, we are discussing the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation conceived out of the traditions of human campaigns into space to address some age-old questions. Could we say we are separated from everyone else? Who is out there? Where do we begin and where do we end? Indeed, this infrared astronomy device has proactively started responding to those inquiries, albeit to some degree. First, you might wind up asking, what even is Proxima b? Proxima Centauri b, or simply Proxima b, is occasionally referred to as Alpha Centauri b. It is a super-Earth, and it orbits an M-type star. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more massive than Earth but lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They are quite unique. They can be made of gas, 
rock, or even a combination of both, and their sizes can range from twice the size of Earth to multiple times its mass. They truly put the super in Super Earth. Regarding Proxima b, it is a super Earth and an exoplanet, implying that it is a planet outside our solar system. The absolute first possible evidence of an exoplanet was discovered in 1917, although it garnered little interest and recognition. However, in 1992, the first confirmed identification occurred, which left researchers astonished. Another exoplanet, one that was first identified in 1988, was confirmed in 2003. As of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 confirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary systems. Out of these, 896 systems had more than one planet. These grand revelations are orbiting an M-type star. At this point, to make sense of the M-type star, you need to understand the red dwarf. A red dwarf is the smallest type of star in the main sequence. Hence, the name. In the neighboring regions of the Sun, red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star. They have extremely low luminosity, and since luminosity is one of our primary tools for planet discovery and allowances, red dwarfs are not that easy to notice. These elusive stars have variable definitions and names depending on their temperatures and sizes. For instance, M-dwarf or M-type main sequence stars yield a surface temperature of 3,900 K, hence getting their name and qualities. Returning to Proxima b, its mass is known to be equivalent to 1.07 Earths. Surprisingly, it only takes 11.2 days to complete one orbit of its star, compared with our 365.25 days. You can gauge the size of the star Proxima b is orbiting, particularly under the estimation of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. The star has a total radiance of just around 0.16% that of the Sun. Additionally, in the substantive light spectrum, its radiance appears much dimmer as it illuminates only 0.056% of the Sun's radiance in the visible light spectrum, emitting a significantly lesser amount of light energy compared to the Sun. More than 85% of its emitted energy is in the form of infrared radiation. Orbiting around 0.04856 AU from its star, Proxima b's discovery was announced way back in 2016. You might be asking why Proxima b, among a myriad of stars, planets, and systems, why are we so focused on this particular celestial body? Indeed, there are a few reasons that contribute to the distinct fascination cosmologists have with Proxima b. Most importantly, it is the nearest known star to our Sun and by definition, us. Although four and a quarter light years is a significant distance to us Earthlings, in the grand scheme of the universe, it is a mere blip. Therefore, Proxima b, our nearest known star, is high up on the priority list. It is also part of the trinary star system known as Alpha Centauri. Despite Proxima b's low luminosity, the actual system appears as one of the most brilliant star groupings in the night sky, just behind two others called Sirius and Canopus. However, the most intriguing aspect of Proxima Centauri b is that it could potentially be habitable as it falls within the habitable zone. The potential surrounding the star is endless, and hence cosmologists have taken on the mission to explore the depths and limits of the star's capability. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. As the JWST continues its exploration of the said exoplanet, we get increasingly closer to the fulfillment of these missions from SETI to exoplanet exploration in the quest for extraterrestrial life. So what exactly is SETI? Given that humans have always been an inquisitive species, clinging and pushing into everything that moves and doesn't move, it is no wonder that a mission like SETI emerged on such a grand scale. Imagine that God has coordinated a perfect grand expedition but with a twist. Instead of gold, we are tasked with searching for signals, specifically electromagnetic whispers from civilizations beyond anything we could ever imagine. SETI stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and it is our collective effort to understand signs of intelligent life lurking amidst the stars. Our quest continues forever. Way back in the mid-1900s, not long after radio technology came into human use, Geniuses like Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi came up with a unique notion. They hoped to use these novel instruments to make a real connection with the stars directly. Tesla even ventured to fancy the idea of chatting with Martians using his wireless transmission system. Fast forward to the 1960s, and we find ourselves amidst Project Ozma, 
the brainchild of the courageous astronomer Frank Drake. Equipped with a powerful radio telescope, Drake scanned the cosmic airwaves for signs of something happening beneath the surface. But unfortunately, his efforts yielded nothing but bravery. The search went ahead with researchers worldwide tuning their antennas to the cosmic symphony. Meanwhile, over in the Soviet Union, our partners across the Iron Curtain were also keen on the cosmic chatter. Driven by the renowned Iosif Shklovsky, Soviet researchers turned their antennas skyward, searching for those elusive transmissions from the stars. Thus, the stage was set for a cosmic confrontation. But wait, what is this? A strange signal received amidst the immense noise, bringing the chatter and nerves to an all-time high. Named the WOW signal, it sent shockwaves through established researchers. As the years went by, the search for cosmic companions only escalated. From Project SETI to the ambitious Project Cyclops, researchers went all out in their quest to unravel the cosmic mystery. And then, in a fortunate turn of events, or perhaps fate, a coded radio transmission from Mars graced our telescopes, igniting the flames of curiosity once again. But what does that investigation look like now? And how far have humans progressed regarding space missions? Lights on Proxima B. In a 2021 research paper titled Detectability of Artificial Lights from Proxima B, experts Elisa Tabor and Abraham Loeb embarked on a mission to investigate the potential for detecting artificial lights emanating from the dark side of Proxima B. Considering Proxima B is located in the habitable zone of its star, the study aimed to assess whether Proxima B could potentially support intelligent life and how to detect it. After presenting Proxima B's significance as a target in the quest for extraterrestrial life, they developed a juicy yet somewhat startling detail, the new speculative radio transmission detection from Proxima B's direction. It's not as recent as it was received yesterday, but when your area of research is space, where data takes light years to travel, everything is a leap forward, creating a buzz among the science and astronomy fan community. The tentative radio transmission added another layer of exciting yet thrilling mystery that space professionals can hardly wait to unravel. The transmission was detected by the Breakthrough Listen Project and represents a possible contender for an extraterrestrial radio emission originating from the vicinity of Proxima Centauri, the host star of Proxima B. The Breakthrough Listen Project, launched in 2015, aimed to survey the sky for signals indicative of technological civilizations beyond Earth. In pursuit of getting through the obstacles of space and listening for any form of communication, utilizing cutting-edge radio telescopes and data analysis techniques, the projects can scan regions of the electromagnetic spectrum looking for unusual transmissions that cannot be readily explained by natural phenomena. This search continued for years. Due to the speculative radio transmission from Proxima B, the story is incredibly valuable. Cosmologists handling the project detected a narrowband emission at a frequency of around 982 megahertz. This frequency falls within the range often associated with artificial radio transmissions, such as those used for communication purposes on Earth. It was an exciting discovery that opened the door to a whole new array of potential outcomes. Although the signal has not been conclusively attributed to an extraterrestrial origin and may have alternative explanations, the discovery is still a significant milestone in humanity's history. With the signal established, it was time to assess the evidence. The Breakthrough Listen team conducted follow-up observations and data analysis to examine the signal further. The goal was to evaluate its likelihood of being of extraterrestrial origin. Although the signal has been scrutinized thoroughly, definitive conclusions are impractical at present. The vast expanse of space we call the universe is not always as straightforward as we would like. Countless complexities, interferences, and obstructions from earthly sources can and will distort the results. When it comes to cosmologists, they cannot proceed with ambiguous results since space missions require extreme precision and a lot of money to be executed successfully. Making an error based on uncertain data is simply unacceptable.